Hey guys, it's Tepco Stack Repair. You've seen my video about how to make a throttle producing sensor tester, but sourcing out parts, soldering them, putting them together, having a multimeter uh, is not for everybody. And sometimes it's easier to buy the right tool that's already done and ready for you. So today we're going to be testing it, testing out the tpstool.com throttle position sensor tester. Full disclosure, guys, I was contacted by TPS Tool from uh, the other video I just told you about, uh, and they offered to send me this one to test it out. So uh, let's see how it does. So first off, guys, the tool comes in a, uh, a nice a nice kit like here. It's pretty good. It's got a rubber uh, coating on here, so you can put it on your toolbox, put it down. Doesn't have, you don't have to worry about banging it up. It's got a little bit of weight to it, so it feels like it's built with good quality. It has the um, battery that you put in the, in the back of it, 9-volt battery. When I take the cover off here, 9-volt battery goes right in the back. It has uh, all the connections on the top part of it right there, so you can see. Uh, yeah, you might be able to see it right there. What, how do you have to plug them in? It also comes with um, the wires uh, for different throttle position sensor testers. So we have all the different pieces here that it comes with, and then your wires to plug them in. So um, the display right here, when you plug it in, is going to give us our reading. Uh, it's going to put out a constant 5 volts. So let's throw this thing on and make sure we're getting 5 volts, uh, your constant steady 5 volts out of it to start with. Let's go with that. All right, in the background, you can see my voltmeter. I'm just going to take this and touch it to the two, uh, the positive and negative, the 5 volt and then the ground, and we'll make sure that we're getting steady 5 volts out of here. So there's our ground right there, and then our positive. Boom, 5 volts dead on. Perfect. All right, so it also comes with some uh, instructions on how to test it out, what to look for in the throttle position sensor. Uh, it comes with how to hook it up for the different bikes. So uh, everything in this package here helps you out to set it up and to get everything right. All right, so first off, why is the throttle position sensor important? It's super important because basically what it's doing is telling your computer how much your butterfly is open so it knows how much gas to inject. These are fuel-injected bikes. So if you have the throttle completely closed and you have your throttle position sensor here, as soon as it starts to move, your butterfly, it's going to start reading it and giving it the sensor, so the amount of fuel. So if the throttle is closed and I take this and I turn it this way, it's going to think the throttle is open more, right? Because if I do this right here, see? So if I turn the throttle position sensor this way, it looks like that the throttle, it thinks that the throttle is open more, it's going to inject it more fuel. The same, same way, if I turn it this way, it's going to think that the throttle is closed more, it's going to give it less fuel. This is going to affect your entire throttle range from fully closed to fully open. So you can have the bike running completely rich or completely lean, or even just a small turn that throttle position sensor, your bike won't even start. So you want to make sure that you get the readings of where it should be, find out what it should be for your bike, and get it set perfectly. So this is a Honda CRF. This is a 2014. These are kind of hard to get to the throttle position sensor, so I'm going to take off this tail section right here and swing it up out of the way so I can get to it. So let me get that set up for you, and I'll show you. All right, guys, so you quickly find out that Honda doesn't want you messing with their throttle position sensors because they have it buried behind the frame right here. And if you look, you can see... It is right there, right. right there. I got the plug off it right there. And to get to it, I have to take the uh, subframe off and just kind of move it up out of the way. And if you look up in there, let's see if you can see it, it's right in here. All right, so the plug that it has is gonna be this one right here. So let's get it plugged in and uh, we'll see what we got. All right, guys, so here it is, it is all set up on the Honda. Uh, with the Honda, with the colored wires here, this is how I have them, the black into ground, the uh, red into the uh, feedback here, and the 5 volts is the green. And you see we have 5.5029. If I give it gas here, let me reach up and give it some throttle, see it changes, and I'll lay back down. All right, so this, this bike here runs perfect. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to adjust it all. If I wanted to adjust it, if you look inside right here, there's a, uh, a Torx bit. Get you in there, right there. There's one on that side and one on the other. And this one here, you would probably have to uh, take, yeah, you got to take it out. You got to take the throttle position sensor and the whole throttle body out of there in order to adjust it. Like I said, Honda's, every Honda that I've worked on to get to their throttle position sensor is, is uh, pretty difficult. But uh, here it is. 0 0.5030, that's what I have on, on this bike here, and it, this bike runs perfect. This is a 2014 CRF 250R. 
All right, so one of the things they talk about on the sheet here when you get it is that a lot of times you can get the, if you switch these the other way, if you put the green in the ground, this will read like a lot higher, like four point something. It, it'll be way off. You want to be, you want to have it set up so you're getting 0 0.50, 0 0.46, point in that range right there is where you want to be. So just swap them around until you get them right. On the sheet right here, it gives you some examples of um, where the a KTM would be, the KTM 990. Most of the four-stroke models here has the green going into the ground, and ours is, is for this Honda, it's the opposite. Like I said, we got the black into the ground and the green to the five volts. And uh, so that's how we have to set it up for this one. But if, if there's a problem, you just switch it, switch it around until you get something in the area of here and then uh, adjust it to where you want for your bike. All right, guys, so what do I think of the tool? Well, I think it's a great tool. I like the way it's set up. I like the way that it's packaged here. It's simple. It's got the three prongs on the top there. You can't screw it up. It's got your uh, power supply inside of here, so you're able to hook it up and get your five volts straight to it. Uh, the hardest part on this was getting to the throttle position sensor. So... Um, if you have uh, a bike that's running like crap, you're having some problems with the way that it's accelerating or something like that, this may be one of the things that you need to look into, and it seems the easiest way is to get the proper tool for it. So this setup on this bike, it gave me a good reading, that 0 .50, that's what I've set up another bike in the past at, and it, it, that bike ran good as well. So um, I would recommend it, man. It's, I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description so you can go right to it and pick it, and there's, there's different... Um, all kinds of different plugs you can get for different bikes. Uh, hopefully uh, your bike is easier to get to the throttle position center than this one is. Uh, so I recommend this tool, guys. Hopefully uh, you'll see the use of this and get some better throttle response out of your bike. Hopefully you like this video, guys. Make sure you click the uh, description, go in the description and click the link to the website so you can check it out and see the other things I have to offer. Hopefully you like this video, guys. Hit the like button for me. Please subscribe. Hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.